guys and welcome back to our channel. If you are trying to save money this Christmas season or you would like to enter 2022 with no debt, I have you covered with some super simple frugal tips to keep the magic this season on a little budget. I think we can all agree that the last two years have shown us that we really have no idea what lays ahead of us. And I think the forefront of people's minds is that we would like to save a little bit more money so we know that we are covered with whatever the future may hold. And we're also looking at simplifying our lives. And if that is you, I have five super simple frugal tips for making this season budget friendly, as well as keeping the memories and magic alive. So let me get into it. These are things that you can start today for this Christmas season. Number one is change the way you do gifts. Now this can mean so many things, but a good change is a great way of flipping your mental mindset from the way things have been in the past. And this is particularly useful if you have kids who are used to maybe a lot of gifts at Christmas, and if you're going to start simplifying, you still want it to be magical for them as well. So some things that I would recommend for change the way you do gifts are well, number one, secret Santas are a great opportunity, especially for your extended family or work colleagues. It means you're purchasing just one gift instead of many gifts. It not only works out better for the budget, but it also means that you can purchase a more meaningful gift for one person than purchasing 20 sort of smaller gifts. Another great idea is to switch up your Christmas morning. So if you are used to arriving out to a big pile of gifts, you can do some other alternatives like a scavenger hunt where the kids go and search all over the house for their gifts. This also slows the process down. It means they're opening one gift at a time without rushing off to the next thing. Another thing I highly recommend if your kids or your family get lots of gifts from outside your immediate family is to place those gifts under the tree. So you can either hold on to them wrapped so that they go under the tree for Christmas morning or you can place those gifts that they have already received under the tree. This helps to remind us exactly the gifts that we've been given. It also encourages play and contentment with all of the things that we've received. Sometimes for kids, this concept of taking in all the different presents that they've received, perhaps over a two or three week period, that's really hard for them to comprehend. So a great visual reminder of having all of those presents together on Christmas morning helps you have less items in your home and have to buy less items for each child. Another great tip for slowing down that Christmas morning is to bring in some traditions that spread out the present opening process. So perhaps it's that you give one gift at a time so that everyone has an opportunity to unwrap and actually enjoy each gift. I know that for some families, it can be this flurry of excitement and wrapping paper and it's all over in about five minutes, no matter how many presents are under that tree. And by slowing that process down, not only do you get to enjoy that process of giving and receiving, but it also means that you have you can have less items and still have this extended period of enjoying those moments. Number two is to simplify your Christmas traditions. Now, I am a huge advocate of traditions for families. I think these are actually the memories we hold on to most. When you think back to your childhood, what are those things that you remember? I doubt it's a individual gift. It will more likely be those traditions or memories that you have of being together as a family or those fun things that you did together. So some things that I recommend recommend doing are making those traditions that you have super intentional. Slow them down so that you're really enjoying them. A great way to do this is by having simple things but theming them for Christmas. So if it's 
fun Christmas breakfast, if it's movie nights, if it's going to see Christmas lights. These are all really cheap things that you can do for and with your family. It doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be elaborate, but by being intentional, turning off your phone, making a little invitation to a Christmas movie night for your kids or your family, these are all super simple ways of building those memories without spending the money. Number three is reduce food waste. And I think around Christmas time, this is something we tend to forget. Christmas really is a season of abundance. And sometimes we can get wrapped up in having these big meals and lots of food around. And then a lot of that goes to waste. So something that I really like to do, especially early on in the Christmas season, is start to have a menu plan in my head of what sort of things I'm going to need and how much. This is also a great opportunity to reach out to your extended family and delegate different items to different people. So by spreading that work of who's going to cook, but also by spreading the cost out over different people, I have never been invited to a Christmas event that I haven't been more than willing to bring something for. And in fact, I actually prefer it. I will reach out and ask someone, what can I bring? So if you already have some predetermined things that you can outsource to other people, this spreads the cost over everyone. And I think it really is in the spirit of giving. Another thing to remember is how you can repurpose those leftovers so that nothing gets wasted. Any food you throw away is really throwing money in the bin. So if you can reuse those leftovers over the days after Christmas, or if you're having an early Christmas event over those days leading up to Christmas, if you're not wasting food, you're not spending a lot of extra money over this season. I know for some people, their normal grocery budget is just going to have to stretch for that Christmas meal. And so by planning in advance, having some ideas for those leftovers, you're not only going to save money, you're also going to reduce stress because you'll know exactly what's coming and have everything you need on hand. Number four, and this is a big one that I think gets overlooked, and that is let people know the situation you're in. You don't have to give away your financial details to anyone. You don't have to elaborate on exactly what's going on in your life. But I think particularly in this last two years that we've been through, there really is an understanding that many people are in a different situation to what they would normally be in. And so now is a great time to have those conversations. It's a great time to say, hey, you know what? We are just doing it a bit lean this year? Is it possible for us to do a secret Santa instead of buying gifts for everyone? Is it possible for us to all bring something and do a potluck Christmas lunch so that not one person gets left with all of the responsibility and the cost? I don't think that there is any shame in explaining to people. And I think that if you explain to those who love you exactly what's going on in your life, you might actually find that they're in a similar situation to you and it will be a relief to them to have someone say, hey, let's simplify things this year. Come over and have a Christmas movie with us instead of going out and paying for a concert outside your home and having a realistic budget about what you can spend during this Christmas season will mean you're not heading into 2022 in debt. Number five, and this is a big one all year, but particularly at Christmas time, and that is to use what you have. Now, this spreads far and wide. It is going through your cupboards and seeing if maybe there's some things in your cupboards that might make a good gift for someone. I know that I have bought things in the past that I've just not got around to using that maybe I could bless someone else with in my life. Another area that you can make sure that you're utilizing what you have is in your pantry and your freezer. Before you go out Christmas shopping or before you plan your Christmas menu, have a look at what you already have and build a menu around it. I love all things about Christmas, but I'm also down to try new things, whether it's switching out that big roast for maybe a lovely lasagna because that's what you have in your cupboard. I think that we are really open to new traditions and that if that's going to save you money and time, do that.
Another area you can use what you already have is decorating and table decor. Anything that has a neutral palette can really be jazzed up very quickly, easily and cheaply by using just a few Christmas items. So white dinnerware or even white paper plates with some fun Christmas decor are a great way of using what you already have adding that Christmas magic, but not having to start from scratch every single year. If you are doing it really tough this year, please check out this video for some more tips on how to have a magical Christmas on a zero budget.